You won't find a historical marker at this site in Adeline, West Virginia, nor will you find a monument or a tribute. But the quiet bravery of the man born here over a century ago changed American life forever in a selfless sacrifice that remains tucked away in the Marshall County Hills. Conrad Cecil Mason, nicknamed Red, lived a typical Ohio Valley life of the early 20th century. He was born to a family of nine and eventually found a job in wheeling successful tobacco industry. But it was what he did as a young man that is remembered to this day in books, historical records, and tributes. He lost his life fighting on the beach at Normandy, giving his 31 years to advance the attack that would turn the tide for America and against Nazi aggression. Not much has been documented about Mason's early life. But the smiling, suited young man in this picture was exactly like millions in his generation in one way. Pearl Harbor stirred a desire to serve. Japan had attacked America on December 7, 1941. How dare they do that? Uh, how dare these people, uh, uh, the Germans, uh, try to conquer Europe? Uh, they were seen as monsters. Mason grew up along this road in Cameron with his large family nearly half of whom enlisted right alongside him. At age 29, he was among the older recruits to the Army, which by late 1942 had already lost so many of its youngest men to the fight against the Axis. Enlisting as a private first class, his preparation for war took him to England in 1944, where the Allies were planning an offensive that would stop the relentless march of the Nazi war machine. Even though D-Day was envisioned as a sneak attack, soldiers willingly stormed the beach to a barrage of machine gun fire. That didn't stop them at all. Uh, it was just an amazing dedication that these men had. They were going in to do their job. But even as the surprise mission was successful, Mason's role in it ended tragically. His ship was hit by a German shell and sank, killing him and all 50 men on board. His courageous spirit lives on as a part of the legacy of Cameron, which maintains a proud and storied military past. Paul Stern of American Legion Post 18 says that unity of purpose among anonymous lives shaped our lives as we know them. What they've done for us is why we're speaking English, is why we're here, is why we choose what we choose. It's uh, actually why you have a right to be wrong and speak that. Uh, so it's, it's all because of, of what uh, they've done before our time and it's our duty to keep it up. At the time of his death, PFC Mason lived here along 39th Street in Wheeling where he left behind a wife, a son, and a daughter. But his humble life couldn't have been a bigger contrast to the magnitude of what he did. He sacrificed in the same way he answered the call during World War II without hesitation and made a small town and a big country proud. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.